What is Geoglass and is Reliance betting against the odd of a failed technology? Hello everyone, I am Tanmay Mehta, your electronic consultant at Touchwood Automations and today we are going to speak about the Geoglasses. Now mixed reality glasses is more than half a decade old technology but its constant failures have seen many many big companies opt out from this particular segment. Now I know you all must be thinking, what is mixed reality? What is the difference between a virtual and a mixed reality? Or is virtual and mixed reality both the same? Now let me first educate you with this. So basically there are three types of technologies that are currently disrupting the world today. The first one is the augmented reality or what we call it as also AR. The second one is the virtual reality to which we also call it as VR. And the third reality, which just came into highlight for you, that is the mixed reality as now also called as MR. Now, these are the primary three technologies which have been disrupting the entire technology segment since last 10 years. And people or big companies have been putting in so much of money resources behind developing this particular three technologies. Now, what are these technologies? Well, the first technology, as we said, is augmented reality. Now, in augmented reality, you basically view the physical real world in a live direct or an indirect format. For instance, uh, you must have seen the recent Instagram filter wherein you could see animals crawling, walking on your uh, on your camera screen, right? Now, how does a snake roam on the floor or you know, how can you sit with a tiger next to you or uh, how can you have possibly a elephant walking in your hallway? Now, all this could happen only with your camera. Now, how did that happen is through this augmented reality feature. Now, AR is also seen a lot in the gaming world, uh, but recently it has also gained the maximum popularity in the architectural spaces. Because what you can do is you can actually convert a 2D space into a 3D simulation immediately using this augmented reality technology. Now, the second technology is the virtual reality segment or the virtual reality technology. <clears throat> now, in virtual reality, you use headsets and I'm sure most of you must have played games wearing those headsets. It can be, uh, you know, the Facebook's Oculus product. It can be the Samsung Gear or it can be Google Cardboard. So these are some of the big names who have actually ha have had their products tested and successful in this particular VR segment. And one of the most common uh, train that they have seen is that this particular VR is more used in the gaming industry than in the other segments. Now, mixed reality is like a hybrid of virtual and augmented reality. It is something between real and something between virtual. So they have just combined this and they have called it as a mixed reality. Now, they do produce digital as well as physical displays by the use of these kind of glasses or headsets. Now, many of you all will not know that Reliance actually launched a hollow board mixed reality headset in their last AGM, which was conducted in the year 2019. And now these geo glasses seem to be the next step in this particular project that they had initiated. And they have launched their product primarily for the education segment to create 3D classrooms. Yes, and as they have claimed in their pro small product video, uh, it supports 3D as well as 2D figures. And these glasses weigh somewhere around 75 grams and they need to be connected to your smartphone through a cable. Now, ever since Geo announced the, of creating a GeoMeet platform to beat all the other applications like Zoom, Microsoft and Google, and particularly in this education segment, they're actually getting in more and more products which are meant for this particular market. And they're trying to get dominant into this space. And this GeoGlass, what we see is just yet another product which are looking to dominate in this particular education market. Now, they have already have 25 apps which can which are supporting for this particular glasses and we have no doubt that GeoMeet would be one of those particular apps as well. Now Google had actually launched a mixed reality headset called as Google Glass which was around five to six years ago but that product failed miserably in the international markets as well as in their own national you know, American market and ever since then Little updates have been released on the same and we are not really much updated about what is really happening with them. But now with Google investing in geo platforms, we are looking for some sort of technology exchange 
between these two companies to create this geo glasses and whether they will really work well the time will only let us all know but honestly geo glass design uh, i know many of you would agree is very very bulky it's not very appealing uh, compared to all the other glasses that you must have seen online or offline now it looks too bulky compared to these brands so you must, there are products like epson has something called as moverio then as we said google glass then there has been a company called vuzix so these are some of the companies who have been playing in this mixed reality segment and their glasses are very very sleek and they have you know all the wireless control so they don't really have a wired requirement as well now the other disadvantage which i see is that you have to connect it through a wire now this kind of wired connections is going to be very very cumbersome it can get a little tangling as well at times and that is the reason why they would want to look out for more of wireless options in these particular geo glasses now price i know you all are very curious and so are we but what we expect is that these prices of for, for these particular geo glasses would be somewhere around 45 to 55000 in indian rupees and for this segment which is really yet to succeed jio can be actually playing a big gamble here because overall in the world this particular segment has never clicked the way they wanted it to and jio has now just pumped in money for these jio glasses and we don't know whether they will really succeed but yes if they are able to man manage the success i am sure it will boost indian this in uh, this particular indian company on international horizon and you and i will be both very proud of it uh drop in your comments on this product how did you like it did you like the design did you see the particular video what do you think about this particular segment do you think that these glasses for a price of 50000 you would consider for your kids education if you do hit like if you don't drop in your answer in the comments below and tell us the price that you're looking for for this particular product till then hit like and share this video to as many people as you can who should know about these new glasses as i tanmay mehta your electronic consultant will see you all in my next video thank you